Hello everybody, Caden here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs and we're back on the world since, um, well, now a new update of the Fossils and Archaeology mod which happened a day ago, two days ago I guess now so, you know, it, it, it's pretty new. I did a quick review on it, so if you want just the basic rundown of what the mod, uh, up, what happened in the update, uh, you can watch that video real quick or one of the various other reviews that I'm sure have also gone up, and, you know, you'll see what happened. Uh, the two main things that I'm going to focus on are we got two new creatures, two new amphibians, the... Oh gosh, I don't even remember the first one's name. Let me actually look it up. Sorry if my voice gets all weird or to one like side of the mic or something. I, well, I mean, it is to one side of the mic, but that's irrelevant. Because I'm being Das Uba professional, you know, YouTuber, and there we go. It is the... The... Crassagiranus. Cra which is super, like a super eel thing, and it's bright orange, and I like it. And then my fate, one possibly one of my new favorite creatures of all time, the uh, Diplocalus, because it's adorable. It really is. Um, but one of the biggest things that happened with this update is they have uh, fixed the uh, analyzer problem. So I'm going to take up a lot of these things that I kind of just had lying around because they weren't working before. I did actually have more fossils, but then I got, before the update come out, came out, because I didn't know when the next update would be, I kind of just threw them in. So, yeah. Oh, also, I worked a tiny, tiny bit on the laboratory, and when I say I worked on it, mostly I just threw in stone bricks for the new floors, and then in a couple areas, I threw in some stone slabs for the new ceilings. Anyway, I finally got the analyzer out of the house, Set up, set it up in here, and then put five more in. Why? Um, to be honest, there isn't really a good reason. I just kind of felt like it. Um, so yeah, uh, we're just gonna quickly do this. Um, so I guess these top five will be the uh, mammals. I mean, it is kind of nice to have something like this, and then. Actually, that works out well. We can just throw in all these and then plant, plant, plant. And we can leave this running while we work on today's episode. Speaking of which, I actually probably need to go get my reference images up because after this first floor, I don't actually remember what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to cut real quick, get my images up, and then I'll be back. All right, so we're back from that quick cut. Got my images ready so I can actually see what I'm uh, supposed to do here. I did actually manage to get more resources, and I have to say, I'm getting pretty tired of making concrete. I think I think after this project, I don't want to use concrete anymore. It's not that I don't like how the block looks. It's like, it's just, oh, it takes so long to make. Now, I mean, there's probably some streamlined way someone's made to like make a ton of concrete really quickly or something. Maybe I should have looked that up when I was making this, but I didn't. And it, it takes so long to, uh, like, it's, it's kind of miserable in my opinion, but that's obviously not the point of the episode today. Um, I, oh yeah, that's, <laughs> I was like, why do I have all this mob stuff in my inventory? Because I was trying to get music discs of all things, because I don't know, I, I like music discs. I like putting them on when I'm, I'm working a lot in the storage room and stuff. And I only have two, because you can only get two from dungeons. Uh, so I was trying to get a couple more using, what, what, what do you have to do? You have to get like a skeleton to kill a creeper, I think. Which I had no luck with, unfortunately. Um, and there's probably, again, some farm or something you can make to make it easier. But I don't know how to do that, and to be honest, I probably can't be bothered to actually learn it because it's me, and I take forever to learn anything slightly competent in this game. Anyway, uh, let's get off to building here. So where's the front of the building? There's the front of the building in my image. All right, so it's just here. Okay, and it comes out like this, and then we have all that. Except this isn't a three-wide window. 
I actually forgot that. I was like, I, I felt like this. I didn't actually make any of this into concrete powder. Oh, it's all concrete powder. <laughs> oh, it is. Wow, I am dumb. I'm actually dumb. Oh boy. <laughs> Um, well, I guess that might actually make things easier because if I'm building it this way until we get to another overhang, which I don't think I really, oh, I do have overhangs. Um, how can I do this? Um, well, I mean, doing that will just solidify the blocks, right? Okay, so I guess we'll just have to do that this episode. I thought I'd made it into, I guess I didn't. Oh, yeah, no, I know why I didn't. I was like, oh, I've made all this. I hate doing all this. It's done or whatever, or at least I got all my concrete powder or whatever, and I need shovels to dig all this up. And uh, um, No, what was it? Why didn't I finish? Oh, cause then the update hit when, that night when I was going to do it. And I guess I just kind of forgot about it. Cause then I started doing biofossil mining and, stuff so I could actually like, ah, oh, we don't need the super shovel. I, I, I've kind of like started not wanting to use the, why did that go into my crafting bar? That's weird. Um, I started not really wanting to use my super shovel except for, what is it, uh, clay, just cause it's kind of annoying when I have to do precision work because it, it'll just, you know, tear out a mountain in about two seconds flat. And I don't really need that right now. Um, how does the second, or window work. Okay, so same as the bottom floor, evidently. So, ba ba, ba ba, and okay, and then oh, this. No, this overhang is actually supposed to be not there. It's supposed to be up here. Because the actual overhang is with the clay. Yes. All right. That's that's good. Um. Oh yeah. So with the actual like, what is it? The analyzing machines I've got set up right now. They're the angle I took the picture at is not the best, and I'm trying to figure out. Oh, because these don't go here. That's why, cause it's, it's just, oh, okay. Where's the, okay, that's actual concrete now. That's, um, that sound must be very annoying. I'm gonna stop making that, uh, doing that sound. I forgot that, um, what is it? Uh, what was I saying? Oh, okay, so like because of the floor here and because I want to put in special lightings, um, because I don't really want to keep using, uh, how, whoops, that, not what I needed. That also doesn't work. There we go. Um, because I didn't really want to have, uh, it is, oh, it's shaders nighttime, so not actual nighttime, obviously. I mean, that'd be too convenient. Oh boy. And I'm just gonna have a burning arrow in there now. Um, what was I saying? I was gonna say something possibly intelligent. Oh, yeah, there's there's like a one block gap in the floors because between the two floors because I needed space for like lighting, and so that way the ceilings and the flooring could have different colors. Um, because, yeah, um, not really much reason to it other than that. Um, oh yeah, we added that on. Which actually means I, I'm gonna need less terracotta, which is honestly amazing because I love terracotta and all, but it's kind it's a pain to collect sometimes. And to be honest, I kind of want to use it more for other projects now. Not that I actually know what those projects are. Um, yeah, actually I have no idea what those projects are gonna be. Um, Oh uh, yeah, now this one, because this one isn't really going to have a second floor, we can just do this, which is nice. Um, 
You know, maybe we could include, because there's going to be another beam on top of this. Maybe we could include just like one little strip of glass up here to let a bit of light in. And that could work very nicely. Um, so we'll just build all of this up. Because why not? And I'll have to take out the entire lighting system and put it back in because I'm gonna have to douse this entire building in water and there's an overhang on the next level and ah uh, concrete looks great works well is kind of a pain to make um well, let's see that's the bigger problem I think is more just that you know it and there we go oh and and there goes my lighting um i mean mixing it with water makes sense and all but there has to be a faster way to do all this you know what we're gonna take the second cut in one episode and i'm actually going to uh just Oh, because I, I can't imagine how annoying this noise of me just constantly using the buckets is going to be. So, you know what? I'm going to fix off this floor. I'm actually going to go through and make all this stupid concrete. And we'll be back, in, or maybe not all of it, but a bit more concrete. And then we'll be back in a second and we can get through with building this. All right, guys. So, after possibly losing the last of my sanity, I got a few, I got like three or four stacks of concrete done. I'm not going to do all the concrete I had because that's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to spend that much time with it because I'd probably go insane. Um, but anyway, we're going to work on this. And oh, I actually forgot to mention. Well, I guess I did mention it last episode. I mentioned I'd, I'd worked on something, but I didn't actually show you guys what it was because I would messed up the teleport and only found that out before the episode because I was like, oh, I'm going to go back there. And I mean, I can walk to the place. But I, you know, if I can just teleport somewhere, um, I will because that's easier. And that is again not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like this. Anyway, um, uh, I had to replace all the torches as well, which annoyed me. And then like along here, oh, and I've actually missed one still. That's great. Uh, just a couple blocks didn't actually get made into concrete, so uh, I, I ugh, starting to not like concrete anymore even though it looks fantastic. You know, it's working really well for this build at least. Um, I don't know if we'll use it for any other builds. I really don't because I'm, I don't know. I don't really do a ton of modern style builds. Maybe we'll use it for some exhibit or something maybe, or actually, I mean, if I, I've been trying to figure out what I want to do for pathways um, in this park and I haven't really figured it out yet, but maybe we could do concrete. Okay, wait, so how is this supposed to work? Okay. Oh, this is a window. But it isn't a window? What did I do here? Oh, that's why it doesn't work anymore, because I moved the staircase over, didn't I? Yeah, the staircase. <laughs> The staircase was over here. And that's an empty space now. Now granted, we could actually just continue using it as said empty space. And instead, just continue along the pattern here and work with it like I was planning to. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so then that, and then this, and then that last one, I guess, will go up there, and that'll be like a one high window, I guess? Or I could just shrink everything down by one further block there, and that could work, I guess? I'm not really sure. <laughs> The, again, problems of going through, making a really good prototype, and then just deciding randomly to add more things in. Oh, I thought that was concrete powder. I was using concrete powder again for a second, and that actually terrified me because I was like, no, I'm not going through that again. Um, 
Okay, so now would be the beginning of the next floor, correct? Yes, correct. All right, so glass will go in between these areas. And, and yep, I, I, I again forgot more. Uh, well, this is fine because, yeah, I can just do that and that won't break anything. I really should have put the rest of the like ceiling in, shouldn't I? I really should have. Um, but that's, that's, you know, just a mistake I can live with. Um, and I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do with that part because the glass is supposed to start here, which means I messed all this Oh, because I made it too tall. Why did I make it this tall? I, I okay, whatever. I don't know what I'm doing evidently. Um, that goes there. And yeah, that's actually correct now. Okay, so I, I accidentally figured out what I did wrong. That's that's wonderful. Um, well, actually, I mean, it's, it's good I at least figured it out. Um, let me, we'll sleep in a second. I just want to get that done. And I don't actually have a way back up here because my, uh, what is it called? Staircase doesn't reach up this far. Um, so we'll just get some more dirt, I guess, and place it down, and that'll be fine. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, I'm also... So you guys did ask for shaders to continue being used, so I'm going to continue using shaders, but I'm thinking of changing shader packs. Because although I like these Chocopic ones that I've been using for a while now... Because, I mean, I, I was using them even before we started this series. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe I should try a different shader pack out. Maybe... Well, I was thinking maybe using the Silder's Vibrant Shaders, because I like those quite a bit. And maybe using the Sonic Ether ones, because I, I know those are just generally high quality. Um, but I'm not sure. I haven't really decided. Oh, the analyzing's probably done. I was like, oh, you know, it's going to take a little bit. We can't check it yet, because it won't be finished. Except that I had to take time to go make all the stupid concrete, so it probably is finished by now. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so four blocks for this, and I can barely count that only because on the reference image, uh, what is it, the, the light breaks or whatever. I, it sounds different than what I actually mean, I guess, when I say it like that, but I know what I mean. And what I mean is I'm almost to the max height of the building in that section. Oh yeah, actually in all these sections. We're, we're almost done with the exterior, um, and then I'll have to do like all the fancy bits of it. And I can, let me see, concrete powder. Uh, so we have like one more stack of white concrete left. That's, that's workable. That's workable. Wow, is this window really this inset? I feel like it shouldn't be this inset. I feel like it's not, I don't know. At this point, you know, half the stuff doesn't quite look right, and I'm not really sure what I did wrong. So I'm just going to roll with it for now and hope I can figure out how to fix it later. Also, I feel like this little... I need, like, extra detail here somewhere. I know I'm supposed to put extra detail on a couple of these parts, and I just haven't gotten around to it because I figured I'd finish the building first, and then I'll go do those details. But on the other hand, is that five blocks or four blocks? It's four, okay. Just making sure, because I sometimes have, a, I don't know, sometimes my math's off with this stuff and I build either too many blocks or too few blocks and then the whole building's messed up and then I, oh man, that, that was such a problem. Uh, what was it, when I, I started building circles on my builds, because I remember like the first few times I tried that, um, it would get super, oh, for aviaries, that's why I did them. I was like, wait, why would I even do circles? I didn't really need circles for much back then. It was for aviaries, and boy, were those sure annoying. Oh, man, I, I really did not enjoy doing those early aviaries because it just took forever to figure out how to get them to look properly. Um with the amount of like how big the circles were supposed to be and then I like I swear like 90% of them didn't look quite right and then yeah aviaries they're that they're kind of difficult to build properly but you know I eventually built some and I, I'm gonna have to build another one 
on this world. Oh, I kind of wish we were on 1.14 because I would have been able to reach that, wouldn't I? Because they uh, they changed the shift height on uh, the player model. So I think I could have reached that. I'm not sure, though. I still haven't played a ton of 1.14. Um, and I, I kind of want to. Um, I just haven't really had the motivation to start up another survival world yet. I don't know why. Uh, well, actually, I know why. Probably it's just because I, I have this and world and... Generally, I don't like to do more than one main survival world at a time. And this, I think this will be the height for this bit area. So, yeah. Because I don't want this section to be, like, too dominating in the entire, like, laboratory. So, we could put, like, a nice chandelier up or something. Or maybe we, and that's the last of my concrete. So, I guess that's the last we're working on. For that part of the build, maybe we could, you know what, we could add uh, the ceilings in and stuff, and I can get the staircase going, which I believe actually I just used these for. Now it's a question of, does it start here? Because, and then if I get some stone bricks out, actually, oh, let's check the, let's check the analyzers real quick. Uh, let me quickly reorganize my inventory. There we go. Um, and see what we got. So the top section. I don't. Oh, there's no new creatures for the top section. So let's just see. Two more tar fossils. Mammoths, Forosaurus, Megalania, Dodo, Megaloceros, Titanus. Tons of terror birds and a ton of platybelodons. That's good. Um, I don't actually have the DNA storage area set up yet. Oh, that's gonna be nice once I have more chests freed up in the storage room. Oh, it'll be so nice because I'm starting to run out of space for certain things. Like, I need an entire chest just devoted to, uh, what is it? Uh, saddles, pretty much, because I have too many saddles and not enough space for them. We have so much DNA. Well, especially now because, like like I said, I ran through about a stack of uh, biofossil and a stack of tar fossils. And considering they had the bug where, you know, they just gave you one of every DNA, I started to accumulate quite a large amount of everything. Anyway, let's check the second one. Oh, we got the- Oh, we got a Diplocalus! Yes! Oh, that's sweet. I really want to get a Diplocalus. In fact, I was actually considering, um... And this is kind of because we have all these spare rooms now, uh, because I've changed up what's going in the lab that we could make a temporary aquarium area. Uh, mostly just because, I actually need to get these stone slabs out now. Um, mostly because, uh, well, I don't know when I'm doing the swamp area, which is where all the amphibians and the Tiktaalik are gonna go and the Meganura. Basically all those creatures are going to be going in one area. Uh, and I don't know where I wanna put that yet. And I don't know really how I'm gonna design it yet. So I was considering turning one of these rooms into a bit of a tank or something. Uh, just a small amphibious area where we can store any amphibians we need. And I think I did build, yeah, it's not supposed to start at the first block. First block is supposed to be, because this is all supposed to be one lower, I think at least. I don't know, I think it'll look nicer if it's one lower as well and did I use stairs in the original model, or did I use slabs? I think I used stairs, because I think the slab idea took too many blocks. Yeah, I'm going to have to lower all this by one, I think. I don't know. Because, yeah, this looks a bit more like what I wanted it to look like, which will be like all that and then all this will get covered with stone brick so yeah i know not these ones because these ones have to be covered with concrete and then yeah i think this is how it's supposed to go i don't honestly remember it's you know been a while since i did this build um yeah, vaguely what it's supposed to look like. Oh, that's why I didn't really, I was like, why didn't I put a ceiling here? Because I couldn't remember where I want to put the balcony because I want to change it from a, 
Oh, was, which means concrete might go there. Because I think originally the balcony came from here to there. Oh gosh, I've got the hiccups. But I'm thinking it might actually come from here to, I guess, here. So if that's the start of it, we'll move this. We'd have to move this back one, I think. Um, that's actually one too far, so I guess we can... Oh, we don't even need to destroy it. We can just bring over another line like this. Okay, and then we just drag all of these slabs around. But yeah, I was like I was going to say before I started getting distracted with this whole... I really wish you could just break slabs without having every both break at once, because that's really annoying. Um, let's quickly run over here. Um, well, I guess it's not quite nighttime yet, is it? Um, what was I gonna say? Well, actually, um, I'm surprised with how fast I've actually been able to finish this. Cause I remember building the lab on the test world and it being like, oh, this is taking forever. And that building is not supposed to be that high. That's actually supposed to be about half the height, isn't it? Yeah, that comes, wait a second. Oh, that comes out to th this first level here. Oh yeah, that's a lot shorter. <laughs> Cause that's not supposed to have a second story. That's supposed to be a one story section and I made it two stories. Well, I'll fix that later. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm surprised with how fast I'm able to finish this. Um, I thought it was gonna take, I mean, it'll take three episodes, which I guess is uh, about average for how long it takes me to make a building in this game. I don't know why my voice went like this instead of my normal voice, but it did. Um, pretty sunset. Uh, what was I going to say? See, so yeah, it's it's going faster. I was like, oh, we're going to have to spend like four or five episodes building this or something. At least that's what I was thinking it was going to take. And now I'm like, nah, it's it, it really isn't going to take that long. I'm, I'm going to finish this fairly quickly. And that'll be concrete, so I don't really need to place uh, these slabs there. In fact, I can destroy them over here as well because this will also be concrete so it doesn't need to be there um oh yeah and that'll be open anyway so yeah that's that works well i kind of hate building with slabs but i love stone slabs because they're by far my favorite block in this game um i don't know how i want to handle the ceiling around the staircase area i don't know if I'll even put the ceiling over the staircase area. We shall see uh, what I end up doing. Um, but this will definitely make the building look and feel more complete than it currently does. And because that area's ceiling is going to be a different height, that's fine. Okay, yeah, because the, then the ceiling will suddenly jump up to about like one block higher. Um, and that'll be, be fine. But even this, this looks nice. And I mean, it'll look a lot, oh, that's what I need to do. I was like, oh, I feel like there's one extra item I'm supposed to like farm or something for this build. And I just remembered what it was. It's a, uh, I need to get, what are they called? Sea lanterns. I don't actually have a place to get sea lanterns. So we're gonna drop these by two actually. Oh, okay, so if those two drop by two, that one actually meets up with a wall. And this one is meant to be this high. Oh, this, oh, I kind of screwed this up. I guess those two will have to be removed. Yeah, those two will have to be removed. I'll figure it out um, later. I'll go actually grab that concrete that dropped real quick because, you know, I, I probably need that. But, We've got the analyzer rooms up and running, the culture vat room. I will probably do, I'm gonna do most of the room decoration off camera, I think, just cause to be honest, it's not very exciting. I don't think at least. It's just kind of like me trying to finagle around with blocks until I feel like I've got something I like. I mean, heck, the analyzer room isn't even done cause, oh, and I've been considering adding chisel again because I like, I like all the tech blocks Chisel has, and they make labs look super interesting and cool. Um, but on the other hand, it's like, I kind of wanted to do this world without Chisel, because Chisel, I think, 
kind of makes things too easy somewhat for building and I wanted to challenge myself again and all that stuff so um and whatnot so sorry if there was a bit of a pause there someone came in my room and like gestured at me and I'm not really sure what they were trying to tell me um okay so that'll get up to this height and then this is oh yeah because we were talking about changing around the room order and now that I think about it yeah actually that might work better well I'm just thinking um because we were talking about this room back here being the DNA storage instead and now that I think about that it doesn't make much sense because the culture vat room is going to be up here so if my culture vat room is on the second floor and like this area here wouldn't it make more sense for the DNA storage to be like right here where it's right next to the culture vats and therefore easier to access we also have the secondary staircase right here because I was hmm I'm starting the, the, the cogs in my mind are starting to work and I'm wondering if maybe what we do here instead of using this as a staircase like I was originally envisioning we could use we could take out like these supports here I mean we'd have to frame the top now with uh, like this we'd have to frame with concrete and I'll switch these out I have so much I have so much glass now I don't even mind wasting it for this but then say we used full glass blocks or something and I guess actually it'd have to come out to here which means this has to be a concrete pillar now um, let me destroy these real quick but then say we had the full blue stained glass blocks or something and then we use this not for like diplocalis or something but I don't know nautilus or alligator guards and we had that going up to the second floor that could be cool um I don't know or I'm just gonna remove that little side add-on we'll see uh but yeah I'm trying to think there are definitely like we can put like a display box in there we could probably put another display box here and one here with little items in them or something uh, that'll probably be egg storage, uh, analyzers, empty room, which could actually mean if we just knock this back and remove that add-on entirely, or we keep it on just for aesthetics, um, we could make this entire room a, uh, holding pen for the amphibians that I want to hatch, but don't have an area to put them yet. And obviously with the botany room and the this area and that needs to be concrete doesn't it yeah well I think that's all we're going to work on today when we come back for next episode I will get everything hopefully we'll get the laboratory finished up in terms of just the actual construction actually I guess it will take more than three episodes won't it because one more episode building it then probably another episode for the botany area and then I guess a fifth episode of just finishing the building off completely and like doing the exterior and like decorations and stuff like plants and stuff. Um, yeah. And yeah, something's definitely wrong here and I don't know what it is, but I'll figure it out. Um, but other than that, oh, that's what it is. Okay, well, I actually kind of like that. We'll see if I keep it. Um, yeah, but other than that, I think that that's about it. So maybe the next two to, uh, two or so episodes we'll spend, two to three episodes we'll spend uh, working on the lab. Oh, and I keep saying I'm going to end the episode, and I'm not probably because I keep wanting to like see things. Um, but once the lab is done, we'll get back to working on animal exhibits. So we'll possibly get around to doing the brachiosaurs or something. I'm not sure. Um, I haven't really worked on any of the exhibits yet. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. That looks very cool um, from this angle. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Cause, and especially once this area gets done, because this is going to be like a massive glass like side add-on to it with all the plants in there. And we'll have maybe like a dinosaur out here to keep there. And 
yeah, it's gonna look cool. It's gonna look very cool. I am looking forward to finishing it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed, and until next time, see ya.